hello and welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to be completing my budget for the month of february what you're going to need is a budget book you're going to need your calendar you're also going to need a calculator and pen pencils and highlighters the very first thing that you're going to do is you're going to open up your budget book and you're going to look at the month as a whole it's very important to know what bills you have coming up what expenses you have coming up for the month the next thing that you want to do is you also want to take a look at your calendar you want to look and see if you have any birthdays coming up any trips coming up any special events coming up that you also need to plan for that way you can prevent yourself from going over budget the next thing that you want to do is you want to jot down those bills and events or birthdays or any additional things in your monthly calendar. As you can see, I am putting down additional date dots because some of my bills will be spilling into the month of March and I'll be explaining that in detail further along in the video. In this part of your budget, you want to highlight all of the bills and expenses that you have coming out of each paycheck. You want to highlight it in different colors so that it's easy for you to identify which bills and expenses will be coming out of which paycheck. In this section, you want to break down your budget in detail. You want to state what your income will be, what your bills and expenses will be, your cash envelopes, your sinking funds, any extra debt payments, and savings. Hey guys welcome back to my channel let's go ahead and get into the details of this video but before we do I have a question for you guys so we know that we're in the month of February and so the next holiday <laughs> that's coming up is Valentine's Day but I want to know from you what is your favorite holiday the last video that I did I asked you guys where were you from and I really enjoyed the feedback um, and everybody commenting letting me know where you guys were from and I think it was really cool for me to get to know you guys a little bit better and I just really enjoy just I don't know I just felt a lot of the connection so I want to continue to do that on a lot of my videos so in this particular video knowing that Valentine's Day is coming up but everybody doesn't like Valentine's Day because everybody doesn't have one or what have you so I want to know what is your favorite holiday like what holiday gets you going I'll tell you for me Christmas gets me going it's it's actually two it used used to be the 4th of July because I mean hey here in LA we have some of the best parties but now that I'm older I think I'm leaning more towards Christmas so drop down in the comments what is your favorite holiday all right let's go ahead and get into this budget so as explained earlier, it's very important that you take a look at your month overall so you know what's coming up, what activities you have planned for the month, are there any special dates, any special trips you need to take where you would need to maybe budget for more gas, um, birthday gifts, and things like that. We do know that in February, Valentine's Day is on the 14th. But anyway, let's get into the details of the budget and basically how I budget overall for the month. Now I am a paycheck to paycheck budgeter, but I do like to look at my month before the month happens so I kind of know what's coming up. There are definitely some things that may come up in between time, which is the reason why I like budgeting paycheck to paycheck as opposed to just budgeting in the beginning of the month and then you don't budget again until the next month, okay? What I am predicting in my bill account will be a total of $4,000 that I have to work with for the month, okay? I will be getting a bonus this month 
um, but I didn't put my bonus in here because I don't know what my bonus is going to be so I just base this off of if I was not getting a bonus for the month so I always like to put my tithes here I do not um, state what I give for tithes and I also do not state what I give for my mortgage my mortgage automatically goes to an account and that the, my mortgage is um, auto pay so I don't have to really even think about it I never see the money and I never have to pay it because my mortgage pays the or my mortgage is auto pay so they just take the money so it was easier for me that way instead of me trying to remember oh let me pay the mortgage it, it's just it's so seamless you guys I absolutely love it I mean I know for sure if I don't do anything else, I'm going to pay my mortgage. <laughs> my HOA is going to be $280. So we know that I take $140 out each paycheck. And that way I'll have the full amount to pay my HOA. Now, I do want to note this. These bills that I am talking about here have already been paid with my uh last paycheck in january right because the last time that i got paid which was um on the 21st that took care that had to come out of this paycheck so these bills will be coming out of well it's gonna come out of every paycheck but this is what i'm basically talking about because these are already paid i hope that made sense um Cell phone is $70, ADT is $70, water $60 is what I'm predicting, solar $100 is what I'm predicting, internet cable $120 total, insurance $100 total, memberships $40, trash $30, MasterCard $70, and Chase credit card $30. I think my minimum payment is $30. So I also want to talk about how I am able to predict for my variable bills. Okay, a lot of people have those questions. My variable bills is water, solar, and gas. These are my utilities and of course those are variable because they're based off of my usage of course and so what I do is I take the last bill and I look at how much that bill was I also look at the season and then I also look at what my average usage is and I take the higher amount I we are in the winter time so my heater might be on a little bit more than normal so i know that my gas bill is going to be a little bit more than it normally would be in the summertime my water there's no extra usage of my water or anything like that i don't water my grass well, i don't really have any but um there's nothing additional that i'm doing for my water and then my solar i try to keep my lights off um as much as i possibly can but there isn't anything extra happening with the usage of my lights and things like that. So that's pretty much how I'm able to predict what I will be paying. So you also might want to go to your utility websites because they have really great tools that will help you to be able to predict what your bills will be and if you can't find the tools I would definitely call customer service and they'll be more than happy to go over what your past usage is and based off your history they will give you an estimate of what your bills will be moving down to our envelopes groceries $300 for the month gasoline $240 for the month toiletries $60 for the month and household $60 for the month and I had wrote eating out but I remembered that I'm doing a no eating out challenge so I do not get money for eating out normally the way that I do my no eating out challenge is I take the money out and I stuff my envelope and at the end of the month I take that money and then I allocate it to something else that's normally how I do it at this time I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it that way we'll see um, 
for me in my head, I feel like if I don't have the money on me, it's not really a challenge because I don't have money to spend. But if I have the money on me, then I really have to exercise self-control because I have the money on me and I'm able to spend it, but it's an extra added layer of me having to really be disciplined and not go eat out, if that makes sense. So that's just how my mind works. Um, I am kind of like past that stage already. I'm already really disciplined, but I just might do it just to show others how I do it. If you guys want me to do that, please leave it down in the comments, okay? All right, and so the envelope total $660, left over $2,290. Now let's go up to sinking funds. So you can see here in my sinking funds area, I did not allocate any money to sinking funds. And the reason for that is because my sinking funds, I will definitely be focused on it and I'm sure that I'm gonna take money out. But for right now, it's a little too early to see what I would want to contribute to. Um, and none of these envelopes, with the exception of Costco and AAA, are really, and, and birthdays, well not birthdays, sorry, Job Petty Cash, but outside of all of these envelopes, none of them are really priority, probably wedding. That's priority, because the wedding is coming up in April. Um, I'm not getting married. I am a bridesmaid. So that one actually is priority. Um, but I can budget for that in the paycheck, in the, um, in the actual paycheck to paycheck budget. And then also when it comes to wedding, I'm probably going to fill that with my, um, side hustle money. And then also with my, um, with my bonus. So I kind of already know, I know it's coming, you know, I know I'm getting a bonus. I just don't know how much, I know around about how much it's going to be, but I don't know totally. And then side hustle money, I pretty much know what my side hustle money is going to be. So that's the reason why I'm just not taking it out of this money here. Okay. Now I did put shutters. So to give you guys an update, if you're not following me on Instagram, you definitely should. Um, but I did order my shutters and you guys, they got me. <laughs> they got me. They caught your girl slipping. But anyway, um, so instead of ordering um, shutters for one window, I'm ordering shutters for three windows because it was actually cheaper for me to do that. So the grand total is $511 for three windows for the shutters. So I'm gonna be getting my daughter's room and then both bathrooms done. And the uh, we, if you watch my other video, you know that we already have $370, I think, saved. So the additional is $141. So I'm gonna split that in half, so $70 per paycheck that I'm gonna put, and then the shutters will be installed in March. Yes, so make sure that you guys stay tuned um, because I'm gonna have a whole video the shutter is being installed but of course i probably will continue to contribute more than just the 141 because after that installment we still have to install the last two rooms which is my office and my bedroom and then we'll be done so with that sinking fund total left over two thousand one hundred and forty nine dollars then we're gonna start our debt payoff this month and we're gonna start with an extra $100. I'll go into detail how I'm gonna be paying off my debt. So look forward to that video. Um, That leaves us with 2,000, sorry, I don't know why I put that. That should be $2,049, okay? So this is pretty much how I complete my monthly budget. It's really honestly an overview just for me to see what I have coming up, what's going on through the month, for me to set out my goals, but really, my go-to budget is my paycheck to paycheck budget because I it's for me it's just so much easier I really hate monthly budgets I just like them really as an overview but I'm a die-hard paycheck to paycheck budget It's just so much easier when I started budgeting like this it really changed my life so um, there it is if you have any questions please leave them down below 
If you're not subscribed, I really encourage you to subscribe to the channel um, for more budgeting videos, cash stuffing videos. Um, the way that I pay my bills is a little bit different. Um, I use a credit, I use credit to pay my bills, and then I pay the credit card with the money that I have in my sinking funds, all that good stuff. But I have videos on all that stuff. So after this video is done, you can definitely watch that video. So. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you guys stay tuned for the next video where I will be talking about my uh, 2022 saving challenges. I think that uh, this will be good for some people. Maybe not everybody, but some people. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and hanging out with your girl. Go be great. Peace out. Just pulled up to the house. Don't feel like getting out. I'ma just lay back.